Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I mean, I've done this sort of thing many, many times in the past. I just haven't done it all that recently. But I was I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm now up to date with the Eureka Masters of Cinema collection. I have all of them and every time a new one comes in, it completes the collection all over again, which is a really nice feeling. But it might be something because I'm getting them on release now that I can make a quick video doing a, a kind of closer look so you can see the packaging and read some of the extras on the back, that sort of thing. Not go too in-depth or too anal with it or anything like that, but just show you a brief look at how the thing, you know, looks. <laughs> yeah, it just seemed like something that could be interesting for some people who might be on the fence or don't even know what the new release is, that sort of thing. So this one is the 245th and 246th spine in the Eureka Masters of Cinema collection, two films by John Ford. This is exciting for me because it's two silent films and, and two really early silent films as well. Usually when you talk about the silent era, you're going back to the 1920s, which was the kind of the real heyday of the silent era. You know, the film started in the 1890s. By the 1900s, things were really cooking. And then the 1910s, exploration was really taking place and the form of cinema was changing and people like D.W. Griffith was really playing with, with editing and narrative and uh, many other filmmakers as well, of course. And then in the 1920s, it all just got really interesting. Like That's just such one of the most amazing decades in the history of cinema. But the 1910s, that you don't see tend to see as many... Great films, and I'm going to go ahead and assume these aren't two masterpieces by any stretch. I've never heard of them before, but nevertheless, they are two films by John Ford. So, from 1917 and 1918, Straight Shooting and Hellbent. Or Hellbent and Straight Shooting, I don't know which one comes from which year. And does it say on the back? It kind of doesn't. Straight Shooting and Hellbent, so I can only assume that Straight Shooting is 1917 and that Hellbent is 1918. 115 minutes altogether, so I'm assuming they're both roughly an hour long, which makes sense, I guess. And uh, I'm going to do a top-down view, show you the packaging, take the slip cover off, have a look on the inside, that sort of thing. But the extras that come with this, because you will see a close-up on that if you want to read them again, but I will just read them to you here because when I film the closer look, it'll be upside down for me and I won't be able to read the actual back of the cover. So we have the two films that come from uh, 4K restorations undertaken by Universal Pictures. Um, we have a score by Michael Gatt for Straight Shooting and a score by Zachary Marsh for Hellbent. An audio commentary on Straight Shooting by film historian Joseph McBride, who's the author of Searching for John Ford, A Life. Hellbent has an audio commentary by film historian Joseph McBride again. Kim Newman on Harry Carey is a brand new interview with the film critic and author Kim Newman. Bull Scores a Touchdown is a video essay by Tag Gallagher. Or Gallagher. <laughs> And uh, A Horse or A Mary is a video essay by Tag Gallagher. Yeah. So I got caught up there thinking about the wrestler Jack Gallagher, who is pronounced Jack Gallagher, not Gallagher. It is what it is. Archival audio interview from 1970 with John Ford by Joseph McBride. A short fragment of the lost film Hitchin Posts from 1920, also directed by John Ford, preserved by the Library of Congress. And then the collector's booklet featuring a new essay by Richard Combs. Uh, and another new essay by Phil Hode and a piece by Tag Gallagher on straight shooting. So that is the selection of extras. I haven't seen these films yet. Maybe I should have before I made this video and do a review of it. But, you know, it's ma mainly just to kind of show you what it is. Have a look at the packaging. You know, it's just a straight up unboxing video pretty much. So I'm very much looking forward to this. I have only seen a handful of John Ford films. I've seen Stagecoach. There was an old silent film on the Stagecoach Criterion. I've forgotten the name of it, but I've seen that one. It was very fun. There was like a back body drop in a fight in a in kind of a bar, I think, or at least a restaurant. And I've also seen The Quiet Man, which is incredible. So lots of gaps in my John Ford knowledge, which is very limited to begin with. So um, this will be good to kind of go back to his early, early days. I would assume this is probably the, near the beginning of his career. Uh, and I'm sure that the extra material on the Blu-ray will, or both Blu-rays will give me some uh, background information on these films and where they kind of, I'm assuming, tie into his career as a whole. So let's check out the, the packaging in the closer look section of this video. So here we have it, spine number 245 and 246, Hellbent and Straight Shooting, two films by John Ford. So it's the uh, double pack, two disc edition. And I'll, uh, I'll show you a close up of the, the extras here. So you can read those and check them out. But uh, it's quite a healthy amount for, again, two films from like, you know, 1917 and 1918, well over a hundred years ago. Very, very cool. 
and uh, nice to see kind of a fragment of an earlier John Ford film from uh, 1920, even if it's, uh, I guess, a lost film. But uh, what has survived is uh, been presented here on the Blu-ray, which is really cool, I think. If you're a fan of John Ford, it's certainly a nice oddity to kind of throw in there and add to the collection. If we take the slip cover off, it's uh, exactly the same artwork as the uh, inside, only expanded. So the first one here is the uh, straight shooting cover. And what they've done basically is I think on the, the Edgar Allan Poe set, um, they had two covers on, on each side, but this is actually just the just the straight shooting cover there. So if you can get like a look at the spine without the glare. There we go, kind of. And then on the back, it's the uh, it's all, all the same as on the slip cover. And on the inside, we have the booklet and the two discs. And if you take the discs out, you have the artwork for Hellbent. And I'm not gonna bother switching them around, but uh, it's nice that you have the option. So maybe you can watch both films, and if you have a preference, then you can change the cover based on that. I think this one is a bit more of a provocative cover overall, I think, with the, the title there and the lines coming across, and then the, the guy getting choked there in the, the, what I can only assume is the sand. And you can just figure it out for yourself and decide which one is best for you. So the booklet here has the cast listings for both films, cast and crew. So straight shooting there and hellbent. Further expansion there of the artwork from the cover. And we have like an essay in here, some photos and uh, a poster there, which is really cool. And uh, the viewing notes, as you can expect at the end. So it's just a nicely put together book, as you usually expect from Eureka and uh, rounds off the collection quite nicely, I think. I'm really looking forward to checking these out. Early silent films, it's kind of my thing. And uh, this is a really nice presentation. So there we have it, Hellbent and Straight Shooting, two films by John Ford. Let me know what you thought of the video. Um, I mean, it's a fairly, you know, obvious kind of bog standard video, just a kind of closer look unboxing style video, but I figured uh, it might be something I could do. If you guys are interested in it and you know my love of this brand, of this label, and uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to diving into these. Are you going to get it? Are you thinking about it? And what John Ford films would you recommend me outside of the, the very few that I've already seen? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, all right by me. <laughs> Apart from the fact he throws cans and calling into a tree. <laughs> yeah, he's really cool. Yeah, he's really cool. <laughs> but he's not quite as cool as you. Cause...